Hello everybody, it's teacher Amy and I am back with an updated tutorial on how to use Google Slides along with CamTwist in the VIP Kid classroom. Now my original tutorial on this, even though it's helped a lot of people, um, I was a very new CamTwist user at the time and now that I have almost a year of use under my belt, I feel like I'm better equipped to create a more informative and more all-encompassing all tutorial for you, so that's what we're about to do. First of all, you will need your main window of CamTwist open you'll also need your preview open. So if you open CamTwist and don't see this preview with your webcam, just go up to the gray bar menu at the top of your Mac, click on view, and then you'll be able to open your preview. Now, there's two effects that I like to throw into all of my setups when I'm using CamTwist. The first one is Gamma Adjust, and this is just a, a brightness adjuster here so we can make the picture a little bit brighter. The other one is Sharpen, and these are not things that you need to use, you guys. It's just something that I like to put into use because I think my picture looks a lot nicer right now. So a little bonus tip for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the picture in picture, which is going to help you have your rewards here on your screen all, all throughout your class because VIP Kid likes to have us have our rewards visible at all times. So what we're going to do here is we are going to create a browser window that CamTwist is going to be able to speak to. So we're going to tell CamTwist, hey, make sure that you are showing whatever is in this browser window up on the screen. Now, we're using a browser. It can be any browser, Chrome, Safari, Opera, whatever you want to use. I'm going to use Safari today. But you might have six or seven different Safari windows open on your computer. CamTwist needs to know which one you want to have open. Now, because we don't wanna to have to go in every day and tell CamTwist which window to open, we are going to create a blank Google slide, we call them the dummy slides, so that every time we open CamTwist, we're gonna have this blank slide showing so that CamTwist says, oh, the blank one, that's, that's where you want me to show, cool. And then once the blank one is showing, we can have any number of different rewards or prop lessons in separate tabs within that same window, and it will show whatever shows up in the tabs. That probably sounded like Greek to you guys, but just trust me on this, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is open the Safari window. I'm gonna open a new one, and I'm gonna open my drive. I have a shortcut to my um, personal Google Drive on here. I'm gonna hit new, and then I'm gonna go down to Google Slides. And I'm going to create a new presentation. I'm gonna name it first so I don't forget. And I'm just gonna call it Blank Rewards. And I'm actually gonna call it Blank Rewards 2 because I already have one of these saved and I don't wanna get confused. And I'm gonna write Rewards down here. I'm gonna get rid of this other text box. And then I'm gonna put it into Presenter View. So this little arrow next to the Present button here, you're gonna click that, choose Presenter View, and then you don't need this pop-up so you can just get rid of that. Now, I'm gonna make this window a lot smaller because when I'm teaching, I want to have the space on my screen to be able to see the classroom as well as the CamTwist control window and the rewards and props that I'm using. So I need the window to be a little bit smaller and it's not really important for you to be able to see, you know, the little nuances of your reward. You just kind of have to tap on it. Now, you'll notice that down here, the menu that pops up is not covering any part of my white slide here. If my window was shorter, then this would pop up and it would cover the slide and you'd be able to see that in the classroom and you don't want that. So the way to fix it is just to make your window a little bit taller and make that menu, make sure it only shows up in the black area there. Okay, so now we're ready to create the picture in picture. So you're gonna go over to the main window of CamTwist and click on Desktop Plus. Just highlight it, don't double click it. Now go down to Picture in Picture down here and you'll see it's gonna put my entire desktop on my face. I do not want that. So I'm going to click on the, the PIP Desktop Plus that I just created here and it will bring up some settings over in this box. Click on the Desktop Plus settings and check this box for Confine to Application Window. That means we only want it to show the contents of one window and not the whole desktop. Now you're going to use the drop down box to choose the Safari blank rewards window that we just created. And now you'll see there's just that window showing up on my screen, but it's it's kind of there's black all around it. We need to fix that. So we're going to hit select capture area and drag this box down and this box up and now you can see it's just that white area that's showing up we can hit done selecting now there's black bars on the top and the bottom so we're going to go to the pip settings and just click the box for clear background and then i like my rewards to go about about 
0.6 or so. And I like them to go in the corner. So just use this little black dot to drag them over to wherever you want them to go. Now, my rewards are down here and that's where I like them to be. So I'm just going to leave them there. Now I'm gonna take this whole window and just kind of plop it over here in the corner. This is where I like my rewards to be. Okay, last thing is just to uh, rename this to rewards because you want to make sure when you're turning it on and off that you are turning it on and off the correct one. So um, just rename that so that you have your rewards there. Okay, now I have gone ahead and already created a blank lessons slide over here. So I'm going to do the same process here. I'm just going to go through it quickly because we already did it once. I'm going to do confined to application window, choose the one, I guess it's untitled. It should be called lessons, but it's untitled. I'm going to select capture area and just the white part here. Done selecting, clear the background. Now this is the difference. My props, I like to have as big as they go because I only turn them on and off when I'm using them. So if I'm teaching the word ball and I say ball and the student repeats it, then I would turn on the picture of the ball just for a second and then I would turn it back off again. Now, if you wanna leave your lesson slides on all the time, you can resize that window and put it up in this corner or whatever you wanna do, but I just like to have mine big. I'm gonna rename this to lessons and I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna put it over here in the corner. Okay, so this is it, you guys. This is pretty much, you're like all set to go teach with Cam Twist now. So make sure that these rewards here and these lessons, these blank ones are showing, and then you can go ahead and save this setup. When you save it, you're gonna name it whatever you want. I call mine daily. I'm gonna call this one daily too. Um, and then just make sure that neither of these boxes are checked. You want these both to be blank when you save, okay? So once it's saved, if I clear out these effects and I'm back to my dark fuzzy picture, I can go down here to daily two. And because these two blank slides are currently showing on my screen, when I open the daily two set, ta-da, there they are. Okay. If I clear them out and I change this to anything else, it could be whatever, and I open the daily two set, nothing's going to happen because there are no blank slides for it to reference. But as soon as I turn the blanks on again, Ta-da, everything's back, okay? So how do you get your rewards and lessons into these windows? I find it hard to search in these tiny little windows. So I just open a separate Safari window and I have a shortcut to the slide finder here or the planner. I also have a shortcut to the planner. It's however you use your slides, however you find them. And I just open a reward. So let's just use Dress Dino here. Click on the link and open it in the big window so that you can take a look at it and see if it's something that you want to use. And when you decide that you do want to use it, you can just copy the URL link and make sure that you are opening a new tab. You don't want to replace the blank one. You want the blank one to always be there. Open a new tab, copy the link in there, paste it in, and then you can put it into presenter view. It's just taking a second to load there. Get rid of this pop-up. And now when I open this, ta-da, there's Dress Dino in the corner. There he is. Cool. Okay, so same thing with lessons. You would just go back to the um, to the slide finder and choose a lesson. Let's say we're doing a trial. Same thing, you just grab the URL, a new tab in that other lessons um, browser window. And same thing, just put it into presenter view and you are good to go. Oops, presenter view, there we go. All right, it's giving me an error, okay. So now when you turn on your lessons, we've got Kim and then you can turn it off again. Okay, so last thing, when you are giving the rewards, so you have your rewards down here while you're teaching, but when you're giving the reward, you want it to be nice and big for the child to see. So first thing, you wanna make sure that you go up and just highlight the reward. It's important that rewards are highlighted. And then over here at the bottom of this uh, PIPs settings, PIP settings window, there's a button that says swap with video source. That's what you wanna hit. It's gonna make you small and the reward big, and then you can 
give Dino his t-shirt and his VIP kid and his headphones. And then you can come back to the cam twist window and swap it back again. So that's the magic that happens when you want to give the reward. Now, very important tip. Like I said, it's important that you click rewards first. Here's why. So let's say I gave the reward and now I want to show Kim. So I turn Kim on and then I turn Kim off. But I just clicked on this to turn it off and lessons is still highlighted. So if I hit the swap button now, like if I'm ready to give the reward and I just hit the button, it's gonna swap me with Kim with the props because that's what's highlighted right now. And then I disappear off the screen, which is terrible. So um, don't do what I did on the very first day that I used Cam Twist and totally freak out and clear your effects and go back to your 2D props. Um, just hit the button again <laughs> and then it will swap back and you can go up and click on rewards and then you can swap it correctly. Okay, so that's my little word of warning. You just kind of have to train yourself. Every time you give the reward, you're going to go up and click on the reward and then swap the button. Okay. All right, so make sure if you make any changes to any of this setup here, like if you're going to add your name or something, um, you can add some text here. I like to have my name on screen um, when I'm teaching and like put it over here in the corner. Um, if you make a change, make sure that you have your blank slides showing when you save it because otherwise you're going to be saving to dress dino school and the next time you bring it up you're going to be like what reward did i have showing when i saved it who knows this is why we do the blank ones so that you can remember and every time you start your setup you have these blanks showing okay so anytime you make any changes make sure you have your blanks before you save all right those are my words of wisdom everybody you are ready to go you can go ahead and start teaching with cam twist tonight in your classes or tomorrow morning or whatever you want this is everything that you need to know i'm sorry this video was a little bit longer but i did kind of combine a couple of shorter videos that i have here um so i hope that this is going to help you out please try it please let me know how it goes you can visit me in the google slides facebook group or you can just leave a comment on the video below i am always happy to help you out if you need assistance thank you for watching and happy teaching Thank you.